In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to edit in Mobile View on Wix. So first, go to your Wix website editor and then look for the Switch to Mobile icon over here. And as you can see, the content on your website is automatically reformatted to fit into the Mobile View. If you want to add any elements, then you can press the Add to Mobile button on the top of the left panel. This opens up a menu and you can select from either of these elements and you can click and drag and drop it into your website. Next, you can go to Site Pages and Menu and the rest of the pages of your website will also be automatically reformatted to fit into the mobile view. Next, click on the Mobile Background button and you can change the background to either a solid color, upload an image or choose from the choices here, or upload a video. Next, you can click on the Mobile Tools button, and this opens up a menu that opens up a bunch of tools that are exclusive to the mobile view. So let's click on Quick Action Bar, and you can press the plus icon to add it in. As you can see, this automatically gives you a bunch of quick action icons, and you can press on the three dots to the right to set it up, to rename, or to remove it. When you press the Setup button, this automatically takes you to a linking page where you can add in where that button will link to once it's clicked. If you want to make any further edits to this, you can click on More Actions on the bottom of this panel. Next, let's go back to Mobile Tools, and let's press the plus icon next to Back to Top button. So with this, this automatically inputs an icon, and you can change the shape depending on the templates over here. And then once the user clicks it, they're automatically taken to the top of the page. Another mobile tool that you can add in is the Welcome Screen button. So when you press this, this automatically opens up a panel which will show the design that your user will see once they enter your page. You can go ahead and add in animations, and you can add in your logo as well as extra text. The last mobile tool is the browser theme color, and you can go ahead and press this so that you can edit the theme that the user will see throughout your entire mobile page. And lastly, over here on the left panel is the Hidden on Mobile panel. As you can see, this shows you a list of elements that are hidden on your mobile site but are visible on desktop. And you can go ahead and change the element to be shown on mobile by clicking on it manually and adjusting it. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below and leave a like and subscribe if this helped you out.